Hello YouTubers, I'm Parways and welcome to Django REST Framework course for beginners. So before starting our main to topic, I highly request from all of you to please subscribe to my channel and also like the video. Okay, so let me just talk about the outline of this course. So this will be a one video course that we are going to cover a lot of things in Django REST Framework. So it will be more than two hours uh, training course. So in the first part we will talk about uh, Django project setup and also after that we are going to have introduction to serializer and uh, we will work uh, in the third part we will work with model serializer. Uh, in the fourth part we will be talk about function based API and how you can work with that. In the uh, fifth part we will introduce API view decorator and function based API view. And in the sixth part, we will work with class-based API view. Uh, in the seventh part, we will talk about generic views and make sense, and also we will work with uh, generic views and also make sense. Uh, after that, we will talk about uh, uh, different type of authentication, like uh, session authentication, uh, basic authentication, and also token authentication. Uh, in the ninth part, we will uh, have introduction to view sets and also routers. Uh, in the tenth part, we will work with generic view sets, and in the last, we will last part, we will work with the model view sets. So this will be a one video course, and also uh, you can check video description. I have added a timestamp to the uh, this table the, to the table of contents. For example, if you want to leave. Uh, Escape one part you can just click on the timestamp and you can check that part So I have added the video description if you want you can watch from the first It will be a good idea, but if you want to skip any part you can just click in the video description You can just click on the part and it will bring for you. So now We are going to talk about some concepts uh, first of all what are restful APIs now a restful API acts as a translator between two machines communicating over a web service. So if you are familiar with the concept of API, this is just like an API, but it's working on a RESTful web service. And so web developers program a REST APIs uh, that server can receive data from applications. So these applications may be different. For example, these applications can be a web apps, can be a native desktop application or can be Android applications or can be iOS applications and also RESTful APIs return JSON files which can be interpreted by uh, a large uh, variety of devices so now after this what is Django REST framework uh, this is the topic of the course now for the Django REST framework also we can call it the DRF so it is a framework built upon the Django framework and it's used for developing RESTful APIs. Uh, there are some reasons that you might want to use REST framework. Uh, so the, the first one is that it has a web browsable API and it is a huge usability win for the developers. Uh, it has authentication policies uh, that we will see in the video. Also it has uh, serializations that support both ORM and also non-ORM data source. And also it has an extensive documentation. It has a good documentation and also it has a great community support. So now in the next part, we are going to set up our Django project for REST framework. In this part, we are going to set up our Django projects. So if you are new to Django, I have a complete course on Django. It's about more than four hours. So Django 3 full course. So I have added the link to the video description, you can watch that. And also before uh, this, if you open Django REST Framework documentation or website, uh, you need to install Django REST Framework. So you can see REST Framework requires uh, Python 3.5, 3.6, 3.7 or 8. And uh, also the Django versions are these. I'm using Django 3 for this course. So for the installation, you can simply pep and install Django REST Framework. Uh, you can use this command and it will be installed. So I have already installed uh, Django REST Framework and uh, I don't want to install it again. So 
Okay, now we are going to. Uh, I'm using PyCharm ID, uh, so I've created uh, a new project, uh, REST Basics, and now I'm going to set up my project in here, Django project. I'm going to open the terminal. The first thing we need, I'm going to create my uh, project in here. So, Django uh, admin start start project and you can give a name to your project let me just give it my project whatever you want uh, you can give the project name so now I'm waiting for the project okay after that I'm going to uh, change directory to my project and now I'm going to uh, create uh, so first let me just do uh, make migrations so Python manage dot by migrate so I have covered all of these in uh, Django course I don't want to uh, explain these so now you can see it's done and now let me just uh, check that it is working or not let me just create a new session and uh, CD my project and I want to run my server so Python manage dot by run server so if you see in here I have uh, my project in here and uh, now I'm waiting for this okay so now it is uh, the server let me just copy and paste this URL so in here okay now you can see that this is the Django 3 and the install worked successfully, congratulations. After this now we need to uh, create, uh, we need to create app, so uh, let me just uh, python manage.py start app and I want to call it API for example basic. Now I am waiting for the app. okay so now how my app is created and if you see uh, in here uh, let me just show you okay now you can see that we have API basic app now after this the last thing that for the setup we need uh, we need to uh, create a super user so python manage dot by create super user okay so for the username I want it should be my default username and for the email address you can give just an email address and for the password uh, whatever you want and let me type the password again okay now super user created successfully and now if I check this and if I write my username and also my password and go to login you can see that this is the Django site administration In this part we are going to talk about the building blocks of uh, Django REST API and also we are going to talk about serializers. So uh, when you're going to build a REST API, uh, a Django REST uh, API, so uh, there are some components and uh, so the first one is models. Now uh, models are, if you're familiar with the Django, so models, these are the tables for our database. And also we have uh, views so uh, it is view function for our URLs and also we have uh, URLs uh, so this is the URLs for our uh, for our view functions so these are the concepts that if you're familiar with Django uh, basics you'll know about this so the, another uh, concept that is in Django REST framework that's called serializer so now uh, it's an important concept and what is serializer 
So, before sending data to clients, we need to serialize it to JSON. An API's end result is always JSON. And uh, APIs communicate with multiple technologies which take JSON as their input. So, now let me just uh, show you a simple example uh, an example of this okay now I have a class models now uh, in the class models uh, I need to uh, create uh, my model uh, I'm going to create a simple model called article and it inherits from models dot model okay now uh, the first field I want uh, I'm going to title it should be uh, I'm going to uh, create a simple model, not complex model. So the max length I'm going to give it 100, and for the author uh, models dot car field, <coughs> and the max length is 100. Also, I need email, so models dot model, and uh, so sorry, not models dot model, models dot email field and uh, you can give whatever the max then for example 100 also we need a date so it is a model start date time field and the auto now add make it to true okay so let me also write the, my string so again i am uh i recommend you to watch my django basic uh video because I have covered all about models views URLs in this uh, part we are going to just focus on the serializers so <coughs> let me just return uh, solve dot title okay also an important issue uh, so if you see Django rest framework documentation and if you come down uh, we need to add the rest framework in our installed apps so I haven't added this now you need to open your settings.py <coughs> and then in, in the installed apps you need to add this also we need to add our uh, API basic in here it is our app okay so after doing this now we need to uh, do uh, make migrations and also migrate our this model that we have uh, created okay now uh, let me just open my terminal and let me create a new session so CD my project and now Python manage dot by make migrations and after that we will migrate so now you can see we have created model article and now python manage dot by migrate so now I'm waiting okay now uh, all migrations applied okay so after this uh, let me just add my this model in my admin dot by so from because I want to access this from my administration panel so from uh, okay uh, from dot models import article so from Okay, from models import article, and now we need to register this. So, uh, admin uh, dot register dot uh, sorry admin dot site. dot register and we are going to register our article in here so also I think I have removed uh, 
from Django dot contrib import admin okay so now uh, if I check uh, my uh, admin panel so let me refresh this Okay, now we have articles in here, and uh, if you check right now, we don't have uh, any uh, data in here. So, okay, now it's time to talk about the serializers. So, if you see uh, Django documentation, uh, Django REST framework documentation, and uh, okay, let me just bring this. Okay, now in the tutorial and in the serialization, if you come down and uh, so we have created our model and uh, we have done make migrations and also we have migrate. Now we are in need to create our serializer class. Now you can see so it's telling that the first thing we need to get started on our web API is to provide a way of serializing and deserializing uh, our model and in stands into representations such as JSON. So, uh, and also it's telling that we can do this by declaring serializer, uh, serializers that work very similar to Django forms. So if you are familiar with Django form. So now let me just uh, describe this. Uh, let me open this and now uh, I'm going to create a new class that's called uh, serializer. So in my API basics, I need to create a Python file and I call it serializers like this okay so the first thing I need I need to from rest framework uh, import serializer also I need to uh, import my model so from dot uh, models I'm going to import a article so I have just one model okay now after this we need to uh, define uh, a serializer class so I'm going to call it uh, article for example serializer and now this class inherits from there are different serializers so it inherits from serializer uh, you can see uh, so let me just so we have a, a model serializer uh, if you see uh, in here we have hyperlinked model serializer uh, right now let me just uh, choose serializer and uh, we will talk about model serializer in the later uh, part of the video okay so now uh, when you define serializer dot serializer you need to specify all of your uh, fields that you have in your models uh, if you're familiar with uh, uh, Django forms so there were two types of forms in Django we have a form class so using a form class you need to specify all fields if you're using uh, your uh, form class but if you're using model form class you don't need to specify for example these all uh, you can just simply do that so I will show you that in example but right now we are going to just copy all of these uh, uh, files from here and uh, fields and we need to add in our article serializer and let me just remove this uh, to now add like this and we need to change this to serializer so because we, we are in the serializer class and we need to change this to serializers like this okay So now I'm going to write my uh, create and also update methods in here because when you're going to work with the serializer, uh, you need to add uh, you need to add these uh, two methods in here. Let me just diff uh, create. So diff create, and we have a validated data, and now we need to just return article uh, dot objects 
dot create and in here you need to add your validated data so validated data like this okay now this was for the creation now we need to update and return an existing article instance giving a uh, given the validated data so for that we are going to create a diff update and uh, now uh, we need to create an instance so an instance dot title uh, validated data dot get so it is uh, I'm writing these because we are using serializer but if you use model serializer you don't need to add these all but because uh, I want to show you step by step so I want to do all of these so now we need to give our title and also we need to give the uh, instance dot title okay so now I am going to just copy uh, this because we need for all our fields so we need for author and uh, let me just copy and paste it in here also we need to copy and paste like this okay so also we need for the email let me just copy and paste in here and the last one is date <coughs> copy and paste it in here and at the end we need to save our instance so instance.save and uh, also we need to return the instance like this okay so now uh, let me just open my shell uh, Django shell and uh, in here let me just write uh, or let me just create a new session because okay so CD my project Python manage dot by shell okay okay so uh, now uh, first we need some ports from API uh, basic so we are going to import from API dot API basic dot models we are going to import our article model and uh, also we need to uh, sorry if no module so sorry it is API basic like this and uh, also uh, let me make it smaller or okay also from uh, API uh, basic dot serializers I'm going to import my article uh, serializer okay and also from the rest framework we need uh, to import from rest framework dot renderers dot renderers import json render <coughs> and from rest framework dot parser import json parser okay so now uh, we have imported this now we need to create an article so let me just create an article and uh, for the title I'm going to give it uh, for example article title <coughs> article title and also for the uh, author you can whatever you want for example I want to give it my name and also for the uh, we have another field email okay 
hit enter and uh, okay now I want to save this so a dot a dot save and uh, we have our first so if we check our site administration so let me just and if we see articles okay so we have the first article in here now uh, so when we call save uh, when we say save it's calling this uh, uh, it's calling this create uh, method now uh, let me just create another one so let me just create this uh, so sorry okay let me let me just create another one and I will be back okay so I have added uh, another uh, article also now uh, we have uh, got some uh, snippets uh, some uh, uh, article instances to play with uh, okay now let's uh, take a look at serializing one of those instances so I'm going to create a serializer in here and uh, uh, it was article serializer so article serializer and we are going to pass our uh, a article in here okay so now if you see uh, serializer dot data you can see we have this data now at this point we have uh, translated the model in a sense into Python native data type so uh, it's a uh, dictionary now uh, to finalize the serialization process we uh, need to render this data into JSON so let me just create a content in here and now let me write JSON uh, render json renderer uh, dot render and I'm going to add the serializer serializer dot data and now if you see the content okay now you can see that uh, we have our this uh, uh, serialized uh, data okay this is how that we have worked with serializer in Django REST framework but it's just a basic uh, uh, concepts uh, but uh, we will learn uh, more about serializers in the uh, later parts so this was just we have serialized and uh, uh, a model so a model instance we have serialized but if you want to serialize a query set for example uh, we have two article in our uh, uh, model and we have saved that now I want to do uh, the serialization on a query set. Now how you can do this? It's simple easy. Uh, let me just create another serializer in, in here. Uh, article serializer. And in here we need to uh, pass our article uh, dot objects. First we need to get our objects and also you need to add another parameter that's called another flag money to true because we are going to serialize a query set for that you need to add money to true so now you can uh, hit enter and now serializer dot data and you can see that uh, now we have uh, two data in this section In this part we are going to talk about a uh, model serializer so if you see our in our serializer class class article serializer we are replicating a lot of information so if you see Django rest framework documentation it's telling that it would be a nice if we could keep our code a bit more concise in the same way that Django provides both form classes and model form classes if you're familiar with uh, Django forms I have said that we had form class and also model form class 
Also, it's telling that the REST framework includes both serializer class that we have saw and also the model serializer class that we are going to create. So now let me just, uh, uh, I'm going to just remove all of these codes and uh, this time I'm going to use model serializer. And in the model serializer, like uh, model form, we are going to create a class meta in here. And in the class meta, we need to create our model that's called article. And now we need to specify the fields. So the best thing is that you can specify the field. For example, I want ID field, I want uh, title field, and I want the uh, author field. So for example, sorry author like this or for example uh, right now I don't want email but you can so I want these uh, fields so if you if I open my uh, at uh, Django shell and in here the first thing uh, I need okay so now let me just create a serializer and uh, article serializer and now if I print the representation of uh, my serial uh, my serializer you can see I have uh, uh, the same representation In this part, I'm going to show you that how we can write some API views using our serializer class. So for the moment, we won't use we won't use any REST framework features. We are going to just write the views as a regular Django views. So as you remember, I have said that there are different uh, API views that you can use in Django REST framework. So we're using function-based API views, and this is uh, just a uh, uh, Jang regular Django views but there are a lot of uh, there are some more uh, uh, API views that we can use for example we have uh, class based views we have uh, generic based API views uh, we will talk about those in the, uh, later videos so now uh, in the views now I'm going to open my views.py and in here I'm going to write my uh, uh, views. So first we need some imports. The first thing uh, we need from Django so dot HTTP uh, I need to import uh, HTTP response uh, Also, I need to import JSON response And uh, also I need from rest framework dot parsers import JSON parser. Also, uh, and from dot models, uh, we are going to import article. Also, we need to import our serializer class. So, from dot serializers, import article serializer. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to create uh, an article list so I want to list all my articles and also I want to create a new article uh, so using uh, APIs so I'm going to uh, def article list and it take a request parameter and uh, now uh, I need to check so if if request if request dot method so so if this is get I need to uh, get my R, uh, all articles so you can simply write article dot objects dot all like this okay I want to get my articles from my database I want to save that in the articles uh, now after this uh, we need to convert our this uh, uh, we need to serialize our this article uh, 
you can use Syria Syria Lizer so Syria article serializer and we need to pass our articles in here okay because uh, if you remember uh, in the previous part we have said that when you want to serialize a query set you need to add money to true because this is a query set and we are going to serialize a query set and uh, by this reason we need to add money to true okay and after this you can simply return a JSON response so JSON response and we need to uh, serializer dot data and also we need to add save to false like this okay so this was the request method now let me just write the also the post method so lf request dot method is post so if this is the case we are going to uh, create a data and we need to use JSON parser uh, to parse our data dot parse and we need to pass request in here and uh, after this now we need to create another serializer in here so serializer uh, article serializer and we need to pass the data so data data like this okay uh, now uh, in the post we need to check uh, that if our serializer is valid so in git we don't need but in post we need to check this if our serializer is valid we are going to save our serializer and also we need to return a json response so json response and uh, in here you need to add serializer dot data and also we need to give a status so it should be uh, uh, 201 uh, it's a created status so 201 is created status we are going to give this so in the else case so if it's not valid we are going to return uh, again a JSON response this time we need to return a uh, serializer dot errors so serializer dot uh, errors and also the status is 400 for oh, 400 okay like this so now we have uh, created this and now we need to uh, 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 create this uh, uh, URLs so I'm going to uh, create a new URLs in my API basic so uh, and here I'm going to call it URLs and I need to uh, open my main URLs project URL uh, and in here I need to include uh, import include so path and now I need to include my URL that I have uh, created in my app so include so sorry okay now in here I'm going to add uh, API basic dot URLs okay and uh, now let me just copy all of uh, these code because and I'm going to paste this in here I don't need this include I don't need this uh, at main and uh, I don't uh, need this I just need uh, let me just give this for example uh, article or uh, you can for example write API whatever you want and also I need to import my view so from dot views import article list and we need to add article list in here article list in here okay so now I think it's uh, completed and uh, now let me just open uh, let me just uh, go to uh, article So now I am waiting for the refreshing of the server. Now let me run it again. 
okay so now we can see we have uh, these articles in here uh, I have ID 1 I have uh, ID 2 and uh, like this okay so I now I have opened the postman and I want to hit this URL to postman so let me write a local host and port uh, 8000 and this is article okay so if I click on send you can see it's git and sending request okay uh, now you can see that uh, I have uh, the data uh, in here so you can see I have uh, two data in here and uh, this is article this is uh, 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 my two articles and uh, so our API is working successfully and you can see it's 200 OK but uh, if you see uh, in here uh, also I have uh, a post now let me check that can I post to uh, uh, this uh, postman and uh, let me just change this to a uh, post first let me just copy one of these and uh, let me just change this to post and uh, in the body I need a row and this is a JSON and I want to post uh, mostly I should receive error so let me just uh, copy in here uh, let me give it ID 3 and this is uh, for example article title 3 and you can give the author whatever you want for example okay so now if I click on send right now it's 200 okay let me just click on send okay so you can see we have an internal server error it is because uh, if you see the documentation of Django uh, it's telling that uh, in here uh, okay so note because we want to be able to post to this view from client so the postman is client that won't have a CSRF token we need to mark the view as CSRF underscore exempt so we need to do this this isn't something that you would normally want to do and rest framework views actually use more sensible behavior than this so for right now we are doing uh, we, we want to do this but uh, we're in the further later parts we don't need to do this so let me just uh, copy this and paste it in my this uh, in here uh, also I need to import this let me just copy this and paste it in here so I need to import from views.decorator okay so let me just uh, run again my server uh, so first let me uh, do this okay so now I'm going to open postman and click on send again I have internal server error let me just check uh, slash and you have okay so the error is that we need to add another slash in here uh, I think this is the error so let me add and let me click on send okay now you can see we have 201 and it's created and if you check uh, you can see we have an ID 3 in here uh, and if I again uh, let me just uh, uh, click on get and if I send uh, here you will see that I have uh, three data so params now uh, you can see that I have another data this is the new data and if you check your Django at me, uh, in here so right now I have two but if, if I refresh this you can see I have another data even you can check this in your uh, admin if you see in your uh, admin panel and uh, the articles uh, you can see that I have another article in here 
Okay, so we have saw that how we can create a simple basic API and we have used Postman and we have posted the data. So now, uh, for example, you want to, uh, for example, you are in the article and uh, basically uh, in this uh, part, uh, basically in this uh, uh, now, uh, I want to show you that how you can uh, retrieve or update or delete this article. Uh, we have saw we have get the article and we have post we and now we want to retrieve the article we have a, we want to update the article and we want to delete the article and also we want for example if you write uh, for example I want article 2 and if I hit enter I should get article 2 in here from the API okay so now for this I'm going to create another uh, method in here and uh, so I call it for example uh, first let me add uh, CSRF exempt and now let me uh, article detail or whatever you want for example I want to write like this and I want to give a request also I need a PK or primary key okay so now let me just uh, first get my data so I'm going to create a try except so article and I want to get uh, my uh, the object of uh, this time I want just uh, one I want to get uh, just one article so pk 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 so it's objects like this okay And now in the except, uh, if it does not uh, exist, for for example, our uh, we need to throw an error. So if article dot does not exist, so if it does not exist, we are going to return an HTTP response. So HTTP response and the status should be uh, 404 like this okay after this now if request dot method is get so if this is the case uh, if this is the case we are going to just uh, let me just copy uh, this and paste it in here so we are going to uh, so this time we need to uh, we don't need to this like this and we need to serialize our data so it's article this time not articles and also we don't need to add because uh, we want to just uh, query uh, we want to just serialize uh, one instance so you don't need to add money to true and after this we need to return a JSON response uh, so let me just uh, copy from here and paste it in here like this okay and also we don't need to add this also now if it is put uh, for the update so lf uh, uh, request dot method dot method is put we want to create uh, let me just copy also these from here because I have written these okay so I want to parse uh, my data my request from the data and after that I need to serialize my data and in here also you need to add article so article like this okay now we are going to check uh, that if uh, it's valid so if our serialize is valid So if our serialize is valid, we are going to save and we need to return a JSON response and this time we need to just return a serializer.data and if it's uh, not valid, we are going to uh, 
uh, add error so the error so it was the update and in the uh, lf uh, also we are going to write the delete so request dot method is delete so it's simple we are going to just delete the instance of our article so like this delete and we need to return uh, HTTP response so return uh, sorry HTTP response and status and the status is 204 Okay, now we are going to open our urls.py and we need to uh, create this. So guys, one important issue, uh, these, th these are function-based view APIs. But when we are going to use, for example, class-based or generic, we don't need to do all of these. Uh, because I'm going to do step-by-step step and I have done all of them. Okay, so now you can give this uh, first let me import article detail and uh, for this let me just add detail and article uh, detail because we also need to add our primary key so integer pk okay so now let me just uh, now if I go to here I should get the second oh sorry it is not it is uh, detail okay now you can see we have the second and if I go to for example third it is the third and for example if I go to four I don't have any four so it will give me error so page not found but uh, let me just open my postman and uh, let me check from the postman so this time let me just go to detail and I want for example the first uh, one okay now you can see this is our first and if I go to for example the second this is the second for example I want to uh, update uh, so I want to update the data uh, let me just show you the updating for example so let me just change this to put okay so I'm going to click on the body and in here row and the JSON for example I want to change this uh, three uh, let me just change the article to update it so updated article and for the author for example let me give it updated author okay now let me just send this there you can see 200 okay now if I check uh, so if I so if I send uh, if I get the second data you can see now we have uh, this data in here so now let me just uh, also show you the delete you can delete uh, so delete So now you can see we have deleted and right now two four no content and now let me just check my article get and the params now you can see we have just two in here In this part I want to show you how to use API view decorator in function based API view. So as we have saw the function based API view, so this was the function based API view 
from the previous part now this function based API view provides a set of simple decorators that wrap our function based views to ensure they receive an instance as an instance of request rather than a usual Django HTTP request uh, and uh, all and also it allow allows them to return a response and instead of a Django HTTP response so uh, also the benefit of uh, this uh, decorator API view decorator is this that you can access to Django web browsable API view so for uh, right now we haven't saw the Django web browsable API view okay now so the first thing I need I need to import this decorator so I'm going to use uh, in my view open your views.py and you need to from uh, rest framework uh, dot decorators import API view okay so after this uh, now you need to open uh, now in here uh, you need to bring some change to your code so the first uh, this is our uh, get and post method so I'm going to uh, remove this because we don't need to this this was just uh, example that I have show you now we need to uh, add the API view in here so add API view and in here we need to uh, give uh, the get and post uh, in here okay now after this now if request dot method is get we are going to get our all articles from the database and after that we send those data to serializer and now in here you can see in here we response uh, we return a JSON response now we don't need to return a JSON response we need to import the rest framework response so from rest framework dot response import response and return response we need the data and we don't need to this okay so in the post method now in the post method this time we don't need to parse our data so like this I'm going to remove this and I need to just create my serializer article serializer class and uh, after that I need to get the data from the request so the request object that I have uh, given in here so request uh, dot data and now uh, this is the checking that uh, if the serializer serializer is valid we are going to save this and we need we don't need to JSON response because we are going to return a response and this time we need to also we need to import the status so from uh, rest framework dot status import status or we just uh, need to from rest framework import status okay so from rest framework import status like this okay so in here we need to give status dot it was 201 uh, created like this and in the else case it, it it's not valid we are going to give a serializer error and we need to uh, give a bad request for 04 so dot uh, 400 bad request like this okay so let me just first test this uh, right now we are not going to uh, talk about this article details uh, we are going to just uh, see the article list and after that we will bring change to our article detail so this is just get and post method now let me just uh, open this so localhost a thousand so post okay so sorry not post article uh, this is uh, article okay so now you can see now we have a, a browsable uh, uh, API so we have a 
Django a browsable API and uh, you can see this is 200 OK and we have post and get and this is accept and you can see we have get and uh, we have a th a two data so with ID 1 and ID 3 and you can see that we have post in here let me just post a data in here uh, I'm going to just copy this and paste it in here I need to remove the ID because I don't need to ID so in here I let me write a uh, new article title 3 and you can give even e for example and let me post okay so now you can see we have an ID 4 in here post it and the, you can see this is a HTTP 201 created and if I get my data so you can see I have uh, three data in here even you can check this in your admin panel you can see that we have another uh, data let me just open my uh, admin and let me log in and if I go to the articles you can see that I have this was a new article title here that I have created uh, if you open the postman also you can check this in postman so local host so local host 8000 it is article and if I uh, see the data sending request now you can see that we have this ID4 that we have uh, created to uh, Django browsable web browsable API so now this was for the first one now we are we need to bring change to the details and also we need to add the code for uh, put uh, update or deleting the data so now in here uh, I'm going to also change this to add API view and in here we need to add the get also we need to add put and we need to add delete so delete okay so first in here we need to retrieve the data so this is our article we are going to get and in here we need uh, if uh, we need to add that does not exist and we need to change in here uh, this to status dot for dot status 404 like this okay and now if our request is get we are going to add our this article data to the serializer and we return not JSON response we just return a response and we added serializer data in here and in our put we are going to remove this JSON parser we don't need to JSON parser we add we are going to get the data from requests so request dot data and we need to add uh, this data to the serializer and now in here we are going to check that if our serializer is valid we are going to save and we need to return a response not JSON response and uh, so serializer dot data okay it's correct and in here we are going to also return a response error and this is status dot 400 path request and now for the delete uh, so article delete we need to just return response and 204 status dot 204 not content okay so now uh, this is completed and now let me just uh, open my okay now this time I'm going to get the detail so first one for example the first one okay now you can see we have the first one in here and you can see that this is the allow uh, methods like delete put and get so uh, you can see we have delete we have get and and here we have put so let me just change this uh, ID one and I want to change this so let me just add this in here 
and I want to change this to updated article title and also updated name and if I put okay now you can see that this is updated and if I get my all data so from the post from the article so let me go to article okay so for the first one you can see that this data is changed and if you see in your Django admin panel now it's updated article title so uh, one important point that I want to tell you that you can see that in here we have ID title author but if you see our models uh, let me just open and here we have title author email date this is because that in our serializer we have specified that we want these fields so if you add email field in here for example email and if you refresh the article so now our database is refreshing and okay now let me just open so now you can see we have also added the email field in here so for these two we don't have email but for this we have an email so this is because we have a specified in serializer so if you let me just comment this and if I say fields if you want to get all fields you can simply write underscore all so now save this and now let me just wait for the reloading of my server and now if I refresh this okay now you can see I have the all fields even I have the date field in here so like this okay so if I use postman uh, right now for this so if I go to detail and uh, first data you can see that this is the first one and uh, also okay so now if I go to uh, detail so first one okay now I want to delete this so I want to delete the first let me just click on delete and delete so you can see now uh, I think it has been deleted yeah you can see 204 no content and now if I get uh, if I go to my uh, again to my article so you can see I don't have the first ID in here I have three and four in this part we are going to talk about class based API views so in the previous video we have a saw uh, decorators with function based views so this was from the previous part so we can also write our API views using class based views rather than function based views as we will see that this is a powerful pattern that allows us to reuse common functionality and also it helps us to keep our code dry it means don't repeat yourself so if you see documentation of Django REST framework for the class based views uh, it's telling that REST framework provides an API view class which subclasses Django view class. API view classes are different from regular view classes in the following ways. So the first uh, difference is that a request in class-based uh, view, request passed to the handler methods will be REST framework request instance, not Django HTTP request instance also the handler methods may return rest framework response and instead of django http response so we will see that this 
Also, it's telling that using the API view class is pretty much the same as using a regular view class as usual. So you can uh, check the documentation you can, and you can read. Now we are going to create our this class. Uh, so it will be so easy. So I'm not going to remove these codes for my function based view. Uh, I'm going to just uh, create a class in here for this. And I will uh, work on my coding. So the first thing I need, uh, so we need to import this uh, from rest framework dot views import api view and after importing the api view now we are going to create our class so uh, let me just call it article api view now this class extends from api view okay now we are going to like that we have uh, did in the function based view we have uh, uh, list all articles and also we have post article so and here you can see we have uh, in this uh, article list we uh, the functionality is that we can get the all posts uh, uh, our articles and also we can post the article so now we are going to do this functionality in our this uh, article API view class okay so you can simply write uh, diff get so for the get uh, now we are going to just write uh, diff get and now it needs a uh, uh, first parameter itself and the second one is a request because we need to add the request in here now after this uh, we are going to just copy the code from our uh, from here so yeah from this section and this time we are going to just copy this and paste it in here so we just simply created uh, we have uh, uh, accessed all our articles from the database and after that we have uh, serialized our query set and because we are going to serialize our query set we need to add money to true and after that we return response of serializer.data this was for our uh, get now for the post so diff post and also uh, okay also you need to add request okay now for the post also I am going to just uh, copy the code so from here now I'm going to copy these codes and paste it in this section okay so just we are going to serialize our data this time we are going to get the data through the request.data and after that we are going to check that if serializer is valid so if the serializer is valid we are going to save the data and we need to return a return a response with the 201 created and if uh, it is not valid we are going to uh, return a response of serializers dot errors with 400 bad request so like this just uh, we are going to do and uh, for the uh, article details let me just first we are going to just check this now I'm going to open my urls.py because this time we are going to use a class and we need to import this and I'm going to just comment this I don't want to remove this and I'm going to create a new path so or let me just copy this uh, from here and paste it okay so article now this time we are going to use our class that we have created so article API view and uh, because we are using class now you need to uh, also add as view in here let me just uh, save this and uh, okay now so I have saved this now I want to check my database now it's reloading okay now let me just check this and uh, let me refresh this okay now you can see 
this the same result and we are receiving the same result and uh, you can also add the data so you can just let me just copy this I want to post data so let me remove the ID and let me call it new article from API view and you can add for example auto whatever you want let me add API view and you can add an email like this and now I want to put post this okay now you can see I have ID 5 and if I go to the get you can see I have uh, these data also if you use postman you will receive the same result so let me just go to article and let me send request so sending request and now you can see that uh, this was the new that I have created new article from API view so you can see that uh, uh, using a class article we have used an API class based API view and it's looking much better so we have a clean code and we have gotten post methods and this is much better than this function based views now for the article details let me just create another method so in here I'm going to create a class article details it extends from API view and now in here because in here we are going to also update and delete our data uh, so for this uh, first we need to create a get object so also we need to give an ID in here you can give ID or PK primary key now let me create a try in here so let me just copy also not write all the code uh, now this is let me just copy <coughs> and paste in here and in here I'm going to return article and let me just make it ID so ID ID <coughs> just simple we are going to get the data from our database and uh, okay so after this now we are going to first get, uh, create our get in here so def get and we need to pass uh, solve also we need to pass the request with the ID like this okay so now after this uh, now we need to add some copying the codes from our function based views uh, I'm going to just copy this and paste it in here so serializer article serializer and <coughs> okay so now in here we need to get the article so article and self dot get object and we are going to pass the ID in here okay like this so this was for the get so first we have uh, get our data from our get object after that we have passed data to the serializer and after that we have just returned a uh, Django REST framework response now this was for the git uh, now let me just write the put so diff put uh, request and ID also I need to copy some codes uh, from here so put and let me just copy all of these codes and paste it in here and just one thing need we need to get our article object like this okay so first we have get the ob article object and after that we have passed the data to the serializer and now we have checked that if the serializer is valid we are going to save that and we return a response if it's not we are going to just return serializers dot errors 
so this was for the put and just the last one is delete so for the delete request also I need to add ID and for this also I'm going to just copy the delete code uh, like this and paste it in here also let me just get this article object okay now this is uh, we have uh, our simple code uh, for the class based view now we are going to check this and uh, I'm going to uh, just uh, copy my this uh, article details and let me open urls.py and import this let me just copy this let me comment this my function based and instead I'm going to add this in here so it's detail let me change this to ID or you want to make you can use PK now in here I'm going to uh, use article details dot as view because it's a class we need to use as view okay <clears throat> now let me just check check this I'm going to check the detail and I want to get for example uh, the third one okay so now you can see we have the third one uh, data and you can see we have delete and also if you see in here we have put for example I want to change this uh, data the third one so let me just I want to update this and uh, let me newly update it data you can name uh, for example updated new name you can give uh, for example an email address and if I put you can see now uh, it's uh, updated and you can see it's 200 okay and if I see now let me just check my uh, article my so the third one is you can see it's updated newly updated data and if you see in the postman uh, detail for the third data mm, oh, oh sorry okay so we have get okay uh, now you can see for the third data now it's updated also you can do uh, update from here for example let me change this to put and uh, and I want to update the second data for example uh, or I want to update this third again so let me just copy this and uh, so from the top I'm going to click on body row let me add this data and change this to JSON and uh, so update it from post one for example and uh, just I want to update this and let me just click on send okay now you can see we have 200 OK status and if you see now it is updated and if I check my in here uh, so let me go to detail and the third third one it's not yeah it's detail third one you can see updated from postman it's updated also you can delete for example I want to delete this data uh, you can just click on delete and delete and uh, now if I go to for example article so I don't have the third data in here and also if you uh, check in the postman sent so get changes to get and send so because we don't have the third then it's uh, we are receiving attribute error so if you go to for example article and if you send 
API request okay now you can see in here also I don't have the third uh, data In the previous video, we have uh, talked about uh, class-based views in Django REST framework. So in this video, we are going to talk about generic uh, view uh, and also make sense in Django REST framework. So if you see Django documentation in, uh, for generic views, uh, it's telling that one of the key benefits of class-based view is the way they allow you to compose bits of reusable behavior. So, REST framework takes advantage of this by providing a number of pre-built views that provide for commonly used patterns. So we have saw that uh, this was a class-based view and we have uh, these uh, uh, pre-built behaviors. But uh, for the generic views, it's telling that the generic views provided by REST framework allow you to quickly build API views that map closely to your database models. So, we're using generic views, we will not write a lot of codes. And also it's telling that if the generic view, views don't suit the need of your API, you can drop down to using the regular API views. So now let me just show you an example and that how it's working. So in here, the first thing we need, we are going to, uh, so from REST framework, uh, we are going to import a, uh, generics, so from a REST framework, uh, import generics, also from, from REST framework, import makes sense, okay? <coughs> now, uh, the first thing we need, uh, let me just create uh, in here a generic API, a class uh, that's called, for example, uh, generic generic API view and uh, now we can add generics dot generic view API view and also make sense so there are different make sense that you can use for example for a uh, listing of uh, your data you can use less a uh, list model make sense also we have create model make sense destroy model make sense retrieve and update we will uh, see uh, these make sense so let me just uh, click on list model makes sense okay so we are going to list our data now it's simple that you can just uh, uh, in here uh, so the first thing we need we are going to specify specify the serializer class so it is article serializer and after this we are going to uh, set our query set so the query set is article dot objects dot all okay now we need to uh, add our this get, diff get method but for th this time we don't need to uh, write uh, these all codes so you can simply write diff get and it needs some parameters so self we have self uh, request also uh, so for right now I am going to just give these and uh, you can simply return so return self dot list and you can add your request so we are going to this list model mixing uh, to list our data okay so now let me just test this uh, this is just a view and let me test this and uh, let me just copy this open my URLs and paste this in here and I need to uh, create another path in here and let me just copy and paste it in here so this time I want uh, for example let me just change this to generic an article like this and it is uh, generic API view okay so now let me just uh, refresh uh, my page and uh, see my API okay so now in here uh, let me just uh, add a generic also in here
Okay, so now you can see we have generic API in here and uh, we have two data and you can see we have just get method. Uh, okay, now you can see that uh, just in two line of codes we have listed our all data. So also you can use for example if you want to create uh, you can also use so you can simply add uh, make sense dot create model make sense so create model make sense and let me write the post uh, self request and now you can uh, return self dot create and you can add a request in here so now let me refresh this so it right now you can see we don't have a, uh, for posting data we don't have anything but if I refresh this okay now you can see I have uh, a four posts so let me just up a new <coughs> generic api view and you can add the author for example for example generic view and you can add an email address and you can click on post then you can see we have another data and if i click on the get we have another data in here also you can use postman so you can send uh, for example generic article sent request <coughs> now you can see that we have uh, three uh, data in here so this is the, the sixth one that we have uh, created this so also you can add uh, for example uh, for updating data and let me just add in here make sense dot uh, we have uh, update model mixing and you can just simply uh, write diff diff put cell request <coughs> and also ID And return self dot update. We are going to add request, and also we are going to add the ID in here. And uh, so, uh, let me just first uh, check this in the postman. Okay, so. Uh, First, let me copy one of uh, these in here and let me put so now in the body. Uh, okay, so I want to just bring change to this. Let me just call generic API view updated. updated <coughs> and if I click on send so we have uh, let me refresh this okay so you can see uh, in here it's telling that uh, uh, Expected view generic API view to be called with a URL keyword argument named PK. Fix your URL conf or set a lookup field attribute on the view correctly. Because we have used ID and we are receiving this error. Now at the top in here I'm going to add a lookup field. So lookup field and add ID in here. So let me save this. And now I am waiting for the uh,
Okay, now it's refreshing. <coughs> Reloading my data, uh, my uh, server. And now I'm going to open the postman and uh, send it again. So again, I have a problem. <coughs> Okay, also uh, in here we are going to, uh, for, we need to check in here, so uh, let me just an ID in the git, so git none, and uh, let me just, so if ID, we are going to uh, return, so self.retrieve, retrieve, and we need to pause the request in here in the else case we are going to do this and also we need to add this uh, retrieve model mixin in here mixin dot retrieve model mixin okay so also let me just add one more in here that's called diff delete <coughs> so diff delete and uh, return self dot destroy. Okay, because we need to add destroy uh, model mixing in here. Make sense. Dot destroy model mixing. Okay, now retrieve self dot destroy, and now in here you can add request and also ID. Okay, now let me just also uh, request an ID in here. okay now we have error uh, this is a request okay so now let me just check this and it's uh, working or not and also an important issue that uh, because we are receiving error in our urls.py uh, so in here I need to add the ID so because we have ID in the okay and ID so sorry I forgot to add this because by this reason uh, in the first I have received errors so now uh, I'm going to use the postman and uh, so f uh, first let me just uh, uh, click on the get <coughs> and I want for example uh, the so let me check that the fourth article Okay. So params four oh four not found. Okay guys also I forgot to add uh okay. Now first let me just check in here. Okay, so for example uh I want the four article Okay, now you can see this is the four article. Uh, now let me use postman and uh, article four, four cent. Okay, so now this is article four and I want to update this and let me put. And uh, you can go to the body. body. <coughs> and uh, in here let me copy this uh, so I want to just give an update it in here so update it and click on send so again we have a problem
Okay, so we need to remove this ID, I think, because we have ID in here, so send. So in here it's telling that uh, email field may not be blank, so let me just an email in here, uh, like this, and now I'm sending, send. Okay, now you can see we have 200 OK and now it is updated. So if you see uh, the 4, now you can see it's updated. And uh, if I refresh this, and now it's uh, updated in here. Uh, you can also delete if you want, so you can click on delete. Now the data is deleted. In the previous part, we have talked about uh, generic API views in Django REST framework. In this part, we are going to talk about authentication. So there are different authentication that uh, you can use. For example, we have uh, uh, basic authentication, uh, session authentication, and also uh, token, token authentication. So if you see, uh, now uh, everyone can access to our API. Uh, so if I go to, for example, six, uh, six data, you can see I have the six data. Now I want to restrict this. Uh, for this, uh, first we are going to uh, see the uh, basic authentication and also session authentication. And after that we are going to see the token authentication. And we will talk about the difference of these authentication. So if you see Django REST framework documentation and uh, in the authentication section uh, so so first let me talk about the uh, these uh, authentication so the uh, first the basic authentication now this authentication is schema uses uh, HTTP basic authentication and it is signed against users username and also password uh, according to the documentation of Django REST framework uh, this authentication is generally only appropriate for testing purpose. So if you want that your API be production and production level, it's not recommended to use basic authentication. But now, but it's also telling that, uh, for example, let me just uh, come down and the uh, basic authentication. So it's telling that if you use basic authentication and production, you must ensure that your API is only available over HTTPS. You should also ensure that your API client will always uh, request the username and password login. So another one is the token authentication and according to a Django REST framework documentation, it is the authentication. This authentication schema uses a simple token based HTTP authentication schema. And this token authentication is appropriate for client server setups. For example, if you want to access to the API through uh, mobile applications like Android, iOS, or you want to access uh, uh, through uh, desktop native applications, so you can use token uh, authentication. Also we have uh, session authentication, uh, so let me come down. So now this authentication schema uses Django default session backend for authentication. And also this session authentication. Uh, session authentication is appropriate for a JAX client that are using in the same session context as your website. So now let's uh, see the examples and uh, the first thing I need uh, so we need to uh, add uh, our classes for example our authentication classes and also permission classes. So there are different ways that you can do. The first way that you can add globally in your settings.py. So you can add uh, that uh, for example in here. So let me just show you the documentation and uh, so you can see that this is globally. You can just copy this and you can add this basic authentication, session authentication. So if you want the uh, add another authentication you can add in here so the second way is that you can use any reviews we are using this way 
so you can just create like this uh, authentication classes and also permission classes in your uh, views if you're using generic views or you're using uh, API uh, class based API views so if but if you're using a uh, function based with decorators API view decorator you need to use like this so at authentication classes so session authentication and basic authentication and this is the permission classes so we are using going to use uh, this way okay now I have uh, let me just open my views.py and uh, in here the first thing I need I need to first uh, uh, import this uh, in here and uh, you can simply import from rest framework dot authentication we are going to import session authentication and also basic authentication like this also we need to uh, from rest framework uh, at least you need to add one permission for your authentication or basic authentication so now we need to also import from permissions we are going to import uh, is authenticated so is so you can see we have is admin user is authenticated is authenticated regionally we are going to use is authenticated like this okay now after this and our as we have created in here for example serializer class or curiouset and here you can simply add uh, authentication classes and you need to specify your authentication classes uh, authentication so session it is a list session authentication and also basic authentication so now this class first check for the session authentication if there is a session authentication uh, if there is not available a session authentication after that it will check the basic authentication so it's like uh, first uh, it prefers the session authentication and after that it will check for the basic authentication now I have said that also you need to add at least one class for a permission class for your authentication so let me add permission class and in here it's a list so is authenticated like this okay so right now if I save my this uh, so now waiting for the server that it's reloading okay so now if I check my this for example API and I want to get the sex article and if I hit enter okay now let me just check okay so it's because uh, it's showing me the data because I'm logged in in my uh, admin panel so if I log out okay so now if I check this you can see detailed authentication credentials were not provided let me open my postman and let me check it in here so let me just uh, enter the URL and if I send request okay now you can see authentication credentials were not provided now we have simply uh, added a simple authentication if I want the seven article I cannot access to that because it's telling me because uh, we have uh, used in here so first it check for the session authentication after that it will check for the basic authentication so the basic authentication is that you can use your uh, username password and also email you can access uh, so let me just show you uh, this now in the postman uh, let me just uh, go to headers and uh, from the headers in here uh, or authorization and uh, and here let me ch uh, choose basic art and in the username in here let me just add my username and also let me just add uh, my password now if I send the request okay now you can see I have I have a successfully access to the data and uh, you can now access to another data for example the sex one you can see this is the sex one data and if I for example uh, remove this and if I make it back inherit 
out from like this and if I send it again you will see that authentication credentials were not provided okay guys so this was a uh, uh, session and also basic authentication now let me just uh, uh, show you the uh, talk about token authentication so I have said that uh, the token authentication is useful uh, when for example when uh, an Android app or for example iOS app or native client uh, desktop applications want to access to the API so for that you cannot use session uh, you need to use uh, token uh, based authentication so for this uh, the first thing you need because uh, you uh, you need to create a table for token and uh, in the database because uh, the token will be save, save in the database for this you can open your just setting.py and in, in your installed apps you need to add uh, for example okay, you need to add this rest uh, framework uh, dot art token after this you need to migrate because okay so let me just create a new session and in here let me change directory to my project and python manage dot pi migrate so now rest up no module name so I think I have uh, mistakenly add uh, let me just check the documentation that uh, so for the token authentication so let me just copy this and paste this uh, I think I forgot to add a uh, a comma in here so let me just yeah okay now let me just do it again okay <clears throat> now you can see we have our token and we have two uh, models for the classes and now if I check my uh, so if I go to admin again so let me just go to admin so server starting so we have an error so let me just run it again Python manage dot Byron server so run server okay so now this is my admin and let me add my user and also password in here so and let me just log in okay so now you can see we have another uh, mod table in here it's called token so let me just create a token uh, I'm uh, doing this in this video manually uh, so let me add token and for right now I have just one user and I want to create the token for this user <coughs> so now the token is created now uh, in our now in the views.py let me just comment this authentication class this time you can add the token in here but let me just comment that I show you so authentication classes and this time we need to import the token authentication so token authentication so token authentication token authentication and in here we are going to add token authentication and we need the permission classes so 
now let me just go to uh, postman uh, this time and uh, let me just send you will see obviously obviously that we are going to receive a invalid or authentication credentials were not provided now we have created our token now uh, in the headers so in here at the top uh, in the headers and the key uh, let me add an authorization and for the value token and I'm going to just copy the token that I have created in here so let me just copy this token and paste it in here so now let me just okay now you can see if I send it again now you can see uh, now we are it's valid and this is because the token that uh, using the token and if I go to for example seven article and send you can see now it's valid and if I remove this again and if I send okay now you can see authentication credentials were not provided and if I check it again and if I send this so I have received my data so this was the basics of Django REST framework authentication in the previous part we have uh, talked about Django REST framework authentication in this part we are going to talk about view sets and also routers so Django REST framework allows you to combine the logic for a set of uh, related views in a single class that we can call it view sets so a view set class is simply a type of class based view that does not provide any method handlers such as get or post so if you see in our that we have worked in one of our videos in our API view so it does not the view sets does not provide as the get and post so it provides and instead it provides such as for example list and also create retrieve or update uh, it's uh, this kind of operations so now let me uh, first create an example and I will say that there are different models of view sets that uh, you can use so for example let me just uh, create a simple example of this so this time I'm going to use article view set so view set also we need to import uh, this so from rest framework import view sets okay so now after this uh, we have created our uh, article view set now this should inherit from the view set uh, sorry it's, uh, so from the view sets dot now you can see we have different view sets we have a uh, model view set we have uh, generic view sets uh, so this time we are going to use the simplest view set that is called view set so now if you use this type of view set then you need to write all of these functionality for example if we have uh, uh, get post or uh, if so let me just show you the functionality that what functionality we can do so for the list retrieve or if we come down for example list uh, create retrieve update partial update and destroy so we need to write all of these functionality by up ourselves so if we, you are using uh, view sets dot view set so now let me just uh, create this example that uh, okay now let me just first create the list uh, because I want to uh, list uh, my data and uh, it takes request okay so after this now I'm going to just copy uh, in this video we will have some more copy and paste I'm going to just copy these data and paste it in my this list so 
just simply uh, I'm going to get the objects uh, after that I want to serialize the data because I'm using a query set I need to pass my entity through also after that I'm going to res uh, again response the serializer dot data so now this was for the list also uh, you can create for the retrieve so retrieve and uh, self request okay so first let me uh, do for post and after that for retrieve let me just so retrieve is when you are going to update the data you need to add the retrieve method so let me just copy this post and because the mechanism has changed we, we are not going to use a post we need to use diff uh, create so now it takes parameter uh, like this okay so now this is our data uh, we have added our data to the serializer uh, we have get the data to request and after that we have checked that if the serializer is valid we are going to save and we return a response of uh, our data with the status code of 201 it means 201 it means that uh, our article is created and if it's not valid we are going to receive a serializer dot errors also let me just uh, do for our retrieve for update I will show you just first I am going to do this three and after that for update I will show you so uh, because uh, now let me give request for retrieve because it is um, related to the update so when you update and when again you need to retrieve the data so for that you need to add the retrieve so I have my spelling uh, like uh, this okay so also uh, because uh, you need to now add a pk so pk none like this so if you're using id you need to add lookup field for your id so let me just i've showed you the lookup fields in the previous part uh, let me just time use a uh, pk or primary key okay so now first uh, we need to create a query set uh, because we are going to get the data so let me just copy uh, these all and uh, let me just paste it in here okay so now uh, I should change this to a uh, query set here yeah. query set like this okay now after this uh, creating the query set now we need to get the data so for this also you need to uh, so we need to get the object and also primary key so in here you need to from Django dot shortcuts import uh, get object or 404 so you need to use this uh, from Django shortcut okay so now we need to create the article so article and in here we need to use our get uh, object or 404 and in here you need to pass the uh, so it needs the query set and also uh, it needs the primary key so pk 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 okay so now this is our retrieve also we need to return a response okay no first we need to add the serializer and after that we need to return the response so we need to add these two serializer article uh, we don't need this many to throw this time and we need to also uh, yeah, change this to article and just uh, we return the response and the serializer data so this was for the retrieve and now let me just do another in here for creating the post so the create I need solve or, or I have done for create uh, let me just check this I have forgot uh, yeah not need to this okay 
so now I have created my these uh, methods and view sets now we need to bind these uh, to the URL now if you see the documentation of Django's framework and let me come down there are two ways that you can do so okay so this is the first way that uh, you can use but it is not recommended way uh, the second way is the recommended and best way is that you need to use routers so like this you can use a router so now let me just uh, do this uh, first uh, let me just copy this and in the URLs I need to import this okay so also I need to from uh, rest framework dot routers import default router first we need to create the object of router so router and this is default router and after this I think we need to register the router so let me just check this yeah, yeah. router dot register yeah so router dot register and add in the register first you need to add the prefix for example it should be article and uh, after that we need to give our this uh, article view set in here so and also you can add a base name so base uh, so base name and let me just uh, give the base name uh, whatever you want but let me just give it article like this okay so now we have uh, registered our router routers now in the uh, URL pattern now first we need to add yeah I have added include in here so we need to uh, part uh, I want it should be view sets view set but you can leave it blank there is no problem uh, if you if you leave this blank you can access the uh, your URL just through article but if you give it like this view set first you need to after localhost you need to write view set and after that you need to write the article and we need to include the uh, router dot URLs so now let me just uh, ref save this and my server let me uh, wait for the loading of my server and okay now it is uh, correct and now let me just go to uh, view set remove this generic so we are going to the view set and also we are going to the article yeah now you can see we have access to our data through view sets and uh, if you check the API route and this is the API route and if you click on this you can see we have this and it allows the get and post methods for right now we don't have update so now let me just post the data in here and it should be uh, let me just copy remove the ID because we want the ID now so view set view set data let me just post this okay now you can see I have ID 9 post and if I go to get you will see that I have ID 9 also you can use postman so let me hit this URL in the postman so I'm going to send a request okay now you can see we have uh, these data in here okay so this was for uh, creating a post and also getting post and also now we need to uh, do for the retrieving so okay now for the retrieving it's also just simple uh, for the retrieving not for the updating sorry so 
diff update request and pk so pk to num and I need to just copy uh, from my put yeah I need to just copy this and paste it in here okay so because uh, we don't have uh, this uh, we need to get the ID from here so now let me just self dot get self dot it's not self article dot objects dot get and pk pk so we are going to get the data and after that we need to serialize the data and we check for the serializer so now uh, let me just create another URL for this so in the basic URL uh, let me just copy this part and uh, this time we need uh, end <coughs> and we need to add pk so now I am waiting for the reloading of uh, my server so yeah I don't have any problem I think if I go to for example article 5 okay so I have article 5 in here now let me just uh, you can see I have put now in here instead of uh, you can do you can put this so let me just copy and paste I want to this is updated this is updated view set and uh, let me just uh, change this and let me click on put okay so now you can see it's changed this is updated view set and if I get my all data so let me just uh, go to article so now this has changed to this is updated view set and if you head from postman so let me just of uh, uh, again five and uh, let me just uh, send this this is five let me just copy this this time I want put and in the body uh, row let me just add this and this is postman updated let me just send this hit this URL unsupport that media type oh sorry because we need to change this to uh, JSON so because we are using JSON okay now you can see 200 okay and it is changed and if I check here uh, so let me refresh my art articles so now you can see it is postman updated so also uh, you can do uh, delete I don't want to do this because uh, now you can do uh, so these are the actions last create retrieve update partial update and destroy In the previous part, we have uh, talked about view sets and routers, and also we have saw the first type of view set, so that's called view set. So we have said in the previous part that if you're using this view set, then you need to add all of these list, create, and also retrieve or delete data or update data. So another kind of view set is that's called generic view set. So now just let me remove all of these so the generic uh, the generic uh, view set is like our generic API view you need to use that with the make sense so for example if you want a list model you need to add the list model make sense or uh, update model make sense or retrieve model make sense so let me just show you this time I'm going to use a generic view set okay so for this you need to just uh, we need to copy uh, this update is from the previous part okay so we need to just uh, add these uh, 
serializer in here so let me just copy paste it in here for example I want to list uh, my uh, model so you can simply use uh, make sense dot list model makes sense okay just like this now you don't need to add anything more so for listing you need to add this now let me just see the, my this uh, view set okay now you can see I have listed my models but right now I don't have it's just for listing model and I have just get you can see it allows just uh, get method in here okay now let's see uh, the another make sense like uh, for example this was list model makes sense for example I want to create the data so let me just copy this <coughs> and paste this uh, in here it is a mixin dot create model and uh, right now if you see we don't have put or for example create uh, article or posts so now if I refresh this okay and now you can see we have post get and post and if you see in here we can post the data so you can add the title so uh, my title and you can add my author and you can add my email at gmail.com and you can post the data so I have the 10 ID and if I list the data I have another data in here so <coughs> let me also add uh, for example for the update mixin mixin let me just copy this <coughs> and uh, so I want to paste this in here okay now if I go for example I want to update this 10 number so let me just go to 10 so I'm waiting for the refreshing of the my server so probably I will receive it or because on yeah you can see method get not allowed because we need to also add retrieve so uh, with update we need to add this mixin dot retrieve so let me just copy and paste this in here and let me now again refresh this okay so now you can see and I can update this data so I can put this for example my new title uh, my new author uh, my new put okay now you can see it's updated my new title and if I see for example my uh, article data the 10 data is this data is updated So also let me add, just add another one that uh, the delete so the destroy makes sense so it we will complete this our this view set destroy model mixing now let me just uh, refresh this Okay, so now if I go to, for example, 10, you, you will see that I have delete also in here. So now you can see I have delete and I can delete this data from here. So like this. And now I don't have this 10 data. Also, you can use Postman. Uh, it's using the same. So uh, let me just... Uh, get the article so you can use git and uh, let me just send the request 
and params so you can see this 200 okay and we have this data in here 8 data In this part, we are going to talk about uh, model view set. So we have saw generic view set. Now, what's model view set? If you see uh, Django REST framework documentation, it's telling that the model view set class inherits from generic API view and includes implementation for various actions by mixing in the behavior of the various mixing classes. So it has by default a list, retrieve, create, update, partial update, and also destroy. So now let me show you the example. Uh, so this was the generic uh, view sets now uh, this time let me just remove all of these uh, and uh, okay now uh, view set dot model view set just you need to do this and you need to add your serializer class with your query set now just simply uh, now you can access to all these uh, functionality like get post put delete uh, just by adding these two lines of code just class and model view set and this so now let me just refresh this this time so if I go to the article so you can see I have uh, my article I can post if you want you can post an article so uh, this is the newest article uh, newest author and you can just give an email address for example and you can post the data so we have the 11 ID and if I go to for example uh, my 11 ID uh, data <coughs> you can see I have delete in here by default and also I have update so you can update this so this is the newest article updated and updated and if you put and now you can see this is updated and if you see your article list our 11 ID is updated. So this was model view set.